All right, guys, and we are back for the final installment of Ace Combat 7 Skies Unknown. Guys, this is the final video. Like, this is it. After this video, we're done with the with the whole Let's Play for Ace Combat 7. Like, there's no more DLC after this. The only three DLCs that we did do were the ones that were done a few episodes back. Or a few videos back, for that matter. And that's it. The rest are just pretty much, like, aircraft cosmetics, but... Well, but that's it. Aside from that, like, we're done. Uh, now, it took a lot longer than I expected, but I did mention in other previous videos that I was having some technical difficulties, but that's already done, over and done with. I already resorted it, and we're just going to keep moving forward from here now. But, just to give a nutshell for anyone who might have missed the last episode or like didn't get a, like the get, get, didn't get a chance to see the full thing, uh, what basically happened was that um, there was actually this giant team-up with the Erosion and the um, Allied Forces. So the whole effort was to pretty much take back the space elevators from people who were trying to take advantage of the situation, which in this circumstance was that a communication was down. So therefore anyone who had power or any type of communication, which in this case was the space elevator, what took control of it would be in control of that country. So in order to prevent any tyranny, uh, everyone teamed up friends, allies, everyone teamed up for this battle to not only take back the elevator, but to also take down the arsenal bird. But, but by the end of that episode, we actually ended up seeing that there were two drones that made an appearance. And from what it looked like for that brief second, it looks like it was only two drones that were actually taking everyone else down. So it's kind of hard to see like what happens after that because there was an emergency landing in the carrier, but you know what? Uh, actually, you know what? Let's just find out. It's actually time to see the grand finale, how everything plays out. I can't just snap my fingers and make a plane. Believe me, I wish I could. Right now, we needed one. Bad. When we were coming over on the boat, I remember seeing an aircraft carrier. That gave me an idea. The Admiral Anderson. The name of an old sailor. When the first drone started attacking, the ship wasn't ready for battle yet. It was still in the dock, getting all rigged up. So they rushed to get her ready. I know about Anderson. In the previous Ocean War, he was the commander of a ship that sent out the last fleet of jets. They say the deck was slipping so bad as it sank, the last plane barely made it off. Those fighters ended the war. That story gives me a little bit of hope. Yeah, the Ross Green story. Like this. That's right, it's Combat 5. We're all in the same boat, like it or not. If this war keeps going on like it is, it'll be the end of everything. The military loaded this thing to the rafters with planes. Some were fighters that were going to be delivered to bases in occupied territory. It was hit before it could complete the mission. Jackpot. The hangars were loaded with goodies. This scrap queen's got work to do. Ooh, so she's gonna tune up our final aircraft. Mission 20, Dark Blue. Actually, that is a good a good title for it. Traeger, everyone, listen up. Let's see what The happened. operation was a success. Erosion defense forces have been neutralized and all arsenal birds are down. However, those two new drones buzzing around have royally screwed up our plans. The Ocean and Erugian Coalition's air forces are in a sorry state thanks to them. We it took everyone out? Aircraft. According to the Scrap Queen, the drones are trying to use the space elevator's transmission capabilities to send their data to drone manufacturing plants across the continent. They're trying to strengthen their numbers. What's worse, their data contains a depth of war experience, so the newer aircraft will be more tactically advanced. If that's the case, this war will never end. 
We need to take both drones down no matter what it takes. We'll do it, so we have homes to go back to. Well, the Scrap Queen's on our side. She says she can make any aircraft fly. This is our final mission. Trigger, let's go. We've got a goddamn war to end. All right, all right. So, so pretty much the final battle, the final bosses are pretty much drones. So who's joining us for this one? Okay, so it's gonna be us. Huh. Wait, we're not taking the rest of Cyclops? All right, so just us, other allies. Oh, it looks like Soul is with us. They're joining us too, and it's just two. Huggin and Munnin. Munnin. Hmm. Man, that's crazy. Because here's the thing, like, usually, like, I mean, at least I don't know yet, but, like, other finales, it involves, like, giant events like, um, like, Megalith, or, like, um, I know Ace Combat Zero's final boss was basically, um, Solo Wing, but there was, like, I know for every final mission, there's a significance, like, each store, each, uh, installment has a theme, so, what well, pretty much, like, it's already clear in this one is that it has to do with, like, like, pilots against, uh, AI or drones, so that was pretty much like a theme of this. Uh, of the, it was a uh, like a big theme of the uh, like of the of the story. So I guess it's like some way like saying that like oh like we can't let like drones or like AI get the hang get like take over the skies because if you really think about it from like a realistic perspective, um, because I'm trying like from my understanding it was that the drones were invented by Falcon. To pretty much uh, Star War, read War. So it, at the time, I thought like, okay, so they're using this technology for Erusha's sake. So if it if the worst case scenario happens that they start manufacturing it all over the country, will it still be fighting for Erusha? Like, oh no, like it has to be Erusha dominating the skies, or will this be the part where like the Belkin thing plays in, where like it was their plan to just read War in general? They're not really like on the side of anyone. It's just they just want people to you know destruction and war. So, if those things are already in the sky, would they just start destroying everything because, like, they just want to destroy everything? Like, it's no longer about alliance? Because in real life, that would be, like, the scariest shit, because then, like, a simple thing like traveling or, like, just being in the skies would be the most dangerous and hazardous thing to ever happen. So, pretty much, I have to look back at the briefing again one more time just to see Trigger, if there was anything that I might have missed. All right. Hmm. So pretty much it's just air to air. That's the only thing that's telling me right now. So here's the thing. So when it comes to finales like such as these, I usually consider like, like first of all I consider a lot of things like the aircraft, the um, I, I usually like flying aircrafts that are revolve around like the cannon aircrafts or like characters that I like in games. Like for example, like Ace Combat. So for example, like for the Ace Combat Zero, it was uh, the F-15, or sometimes it was the F-16. I flew because of PJ and uh, Cipher. Basically, those two aircrafts. For Ace Combat Five, uh, the cannon one was actually the F-14. Um, the Ace Combat Four, it was the F-22 Raptor. But for this one, it actually really there isn't really a cannon one, it, 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 from my understanding. I mean, from at least from what I think. So I'm actually going to do the next best thing and I'm actually going to pick the one aircraft that resembles like so far like I feel like he was like the low key the like uh like the like he was like the low key MVP to me at least from my experience of this playthrough because I know everyone's going to have their own preference of like whose character was like whose was their favorite character but I think I know which aircraft I'm going to go with. Because at least he deserved the limelight, at least. So this is the least that, this is the closest that it's going to come to. So, I, I know which aircraft I'm picking now. Condition. 
I even buffed up the canopy for a nice shine, so you can really see the sky. Take care, Trigger. When you get back, let me know what you saw. That's right. No nationality. Just one team now. We're doing this. We're doing this now. All right, let's do this. The team, the team's all here. Little banter? I like that. I like a little banter. Alright, let's go guys. It's a giant team against um, two drones. Where are they? Where are they? Down, it's the only place capable of wide area data transmission. The Let's go. The whole team. We have again. the whole squad here. Clever little bastards. Where are they? Where are they? There they are. There they are. Look at them. Getting all cocky. Go leader to Longcaster. UAV is confirmed in direction of travel. Aircraft converts on squad squadron. Surrounded. Lasers. It shoots lasers. Why? I'm not surprised. I played enough Ace Combat to know like that's a normal thing. This is it guys, this is literally like a representation of humans against AIs. Fire at me, huh? Okay, they really are dodging me really good, huh? Oh, wow, he dodged that! He... Oh, he really dodged me there. Okay, okay, where'd he go, where'd he go? Oh wow, they really are fast. So if they're going by Mihai's like a um, pattern, would they repeat themselves? Okay, I saw that. I saw that. So only have like a, a second, a second, like to get them. All right, looks like me and Sora are the only ones trying to get them. Oh, those assholes are hugging the tower. Okay, 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 looks like I, I ha Okay, I'm trying to figure out how do I- how should I get them? Alright, I think I might go after hugging. There we go. There we go, there we go. Friendly lost. The Salamander. Michael 3 has been shot down. We lost another one. Okay. I'm behind my target. There we go, there we go. We got one, we got one, we got one. Okay, looks like they're using the lasers and they released the UAVs. There we go, got one, got one. Hey, that, that, that was for you, tabloid. That was for you, baby. Okay, I'll take out the other one. I'll take out the other one. Uh, so it's with us. Oh! Damn it! <laughs> he was alive for a good second there. Uh, it still hurts. It still hurts though because he was actually helping us in the end. Oh, 
There we go. There we go, there we go. I'm getting the hang of his pattern now. I'm getting the hang of his pattern now. There we go. Eat that barrage. Oh, okay, that laser got me. All right, everyone's hugging him. Everyone's hugging him now. <laughs> Damn, dude, everyone's trying to shoot him down. <laughs> destroy, destroy. There we go. It's still firing. That one looks like That's it crazy. Hurt. Trigger has scored a kill. Hell yeah, you finally did it. We just shoot Was it. that really it? I don't think so. No. I knew it. <laughs> it. It's not that easy. That's not how these final missions end. I played enough base comments to know like it wasn't over. Look, it discarded its wings. EDF. Go down. What is that? <laughs> it's talking. It's talking. I heard. I noticed that. It's talking. Look at that. Look at that. Everyone's trying to get him. Oh, that thing is way fast. Way too fast. Okay, okay, I shouldn't use it yet. I shouldn't use it yet. Let's see, what's the pattern? What's the pattern? Oh, so now it's copying me. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh, look at that speed. There we go, there we go. UAV is down. Radar signal is lost. There we go. Who made it? Who made it? Who's alive so far? Oh, damn, we lost like more than half of our guys. And we have the last member of Soul. Can you hear me? There's still one drone left. Who the hell is that? More importantly, I thought Trigger destroyed all the drones. It's still the way it's wings, yet it's still flying. Can anyone hear me? That aircraft needs to be taken care of. She's right. I see something on the radar. The UAV is alive and kicking. Oh, that's right! One of them dropped a little, like, um, an extra craft. Didn't even check for the second one. The UAV went into the undersea tunnel. That tunnel leads to the space elevator. Dude. <laughs> Don't tell me. Trigger, you're gonna have to fly into the tunnel after the UAV. <laughs> <laughs> you know, okay, so here's the thing. For some reason, like in Ace Combat, there's always a stage where you have to fly inside of a tunnel. So, so something like this, like, why am I even not surprised about this? It's, like, it's not an Ace Combat game if there's not laser weaponry, nukes, or flying into a tunnel. Those are like the three, the three, uh, the three like stone, stone rules. All right, all right. So I guess we just. Oh wait, is Kyle joining me? All right, all right, cool. 
Well, at least I'm not going by myself this time. Just to show, you know, we were we were part of the original crew, the OG Caution. crew, the spare Hold crew. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. I'd be shamed if I crash right now. Into the tunnel. Count. Give me your status. Alive. Oh Excellent. shit. Excellent, so you're both okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What makes you think that? No time to explain. The radio will cut out soon. It'll take oh, a short shit, time shit, for shit, the drone to send over the data. There it is. You may be spotted. We okay. found it. There we go. Oh man, it's gonna try to close on me. It's gonna try to close on me. I could be. I mean, at this point, it's just speculation. Speculation. No sign of the drone. Did it take another path? Doesn't matter. We can catch it. Oh shit! Oh shit! I'm gonna crash. Whoa, 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 easy, easy, they're easy, they're easier. I don't have to go fast either. What the hell? Damn it. It got me. I'm how did, how did it get behind us? My wings seem fine, but I'm losing thrust. Is my how did it get behind it us, though? Like it's my engine. I'm fine. I can still fly. My rudder's acting up. It's okay, hard okay. To keep level. I'm not getting much thrust, but I'll yeah, be you're okay. good. You good count. You good count. I just realized, how are we gonna get out if they're closing the doors? Oh shit! Oh shit! Uh, that's quite the problem. It appears I can't get any more thrust. Okay. The drone is turning. It'll send its payload. Shoot it down. Oh, there you trigger. are. There you are. There you are. I destroy those two. All right. All right, I have to get him. I have to get him now. Okay, okay, okay. Sharp turn, sharp turn. Chase, chase him, chase him. There we go. It's down. Yeah, baby. Woo. Hey, I'm being serious here. What now? That's right. We're going home. I thought of a way out of here. You did? The space elevator. The windbreak is hollow, and there's no ceiling all the way up. Not sure if my bird can handle it though. Fly! I know you can make it! I'll attempt a belly landing! You sure? Get out of here! Everyone's waiting for you! Alright, alright, alright. I just have to time it right. Oh man, it's so hard to maneuver this tiny spot. Okay, let's see, let's see what I can do, what I can do. Okay, I see, I see. There's there's like openings. Into the middle column! That'll lead inside the windbreak! I know, I know. There we go. We're going up. Uh, I, might, I might have to take it slow here. Oh, the wind. The wind. Oh my god, I feel the wind pushing me. Anyway, here goes. Come on, baby, stay with me just a bit more. Uh, he's fine, he's cool, he's cool. Oh my god, I just realized. I did say like a long time ago, like it was only a matter of time before we lost all spares. And we just lost the final spare. We can't give up. We have to wait. Oh. Ah. Ah, the wind. The wind. Beacon of light. Ow, and I hear. Look, it's trigger. Strider 1 has returned to radar. I did it! That's our trigger! These are damn heroes! Ah! <laughs> well, you're better than me. Where's Strider 2? Oh yeah, man, my hands are so shaky. I thought it was just gonna be simple just flying up. What the oh and he's alive. You damn fool. Nice. What's your position? Watching trigger climb. I guess it's my fate to watch from down below. Yeah. Well, we're all in the same boat there. Yeah, well, I guess we are. We're sending help. Give us your coordinates. Directly under the space elevator. Elevation is minus 500 meters. Minus? Hey, Trigger. You dumbass. Tell me something. 
colors the sky up there? Belt. I can't tell you how proud I am to be the first to land at Wait, this Wait, what was that transmission? This is Captain K. Nagase of the Oh, hey! Earth. I did not expect to hear the from you. stars in our galaxy is finally within our reach. Space. The pilot who generously gave this spaceship a place to dock, we are forever grateful. The universe lies ahead of us. So we she went to space discovered. after his combat five? Oh, that's interesting. Because she was always talking about like the sky. I mean, I don't know if she mentioned something about space. Today was the day, the moment of her return. I salute the pilot who gave us all a future. So, for those who don't know, she's like the main hero of Ace Combat Fire. One of the main heroes. All right. There we go. That's the money shot right there. To skies unknown, the path to mankind's vast future remains standing, Granddad. The refugees built the settlement for themselves at the base of the space elevator. A humanitarian mission from Yuktuvania airdropped some supplies for them again today. Thanks to the princess, the whole world was pitching in to help these people. Handing out the relief supplies would have been a perfect gig for that anarchist dude. But since he's dead now, the job went to the guy from Belka, George. I guess Tabloid got that new system he wanted in the end. Oh. Mihai's granddaughters are helping out too. <laughs> Mihai. <clears throat> that cranky old geezer's here with us too. See? I never wanted to create anything, and now here I am, clinging to life. Watching as my grandchildren and their generation make a new future for themselves and the world. Is this my punishment then? All I do is lie here, wasting away. Oh, see, so this part I'll of the never run know industry. the freedom of flying the open skies ever again. I've been grounded, and my wings have been clipped. But see, he didn't die because when I was following him, his aircraft didn't you blow up. You know what having peace in the world means? It's being able to die in your own bed at a ripe old age. Peace is what those girls are working so hard for here. So they're we calling it the Lighthouse War. Okay. And the princess? She's looking to the stars. Dark blue. To the heavens and beyond. Yeah, they're going to space. Yeah, Ace Combat is going to space now. Can you hear me? Well, that's it, guys. That pretty much around wraps up this last play. Like, like seriously, guys. Like, I actually... <laughs> it took a lot longer than I expected because, I mean... Um, I know I've been releasing them through, like, small portions. But in all honesty, it's actually because, like, uh, it's like I mentioned before, I'm actually getting accustomed to the whole like uh, using certain programs for recording and facing technical difficulties with my computer. Because <laughs> to to be honest, like my computer is not really one of the best computers. And like I may have mentioned before, I actually run it with like actually uh, ran this uh, game with the lowest settings. So maybe there were like certain portions, like every now and then, like you would notice little details that like. Maybe the shadow looked a little too pixelated. Certain aircraft designs weren't as like the, as the great, like won't show in great detail. But 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 the point is that like you know it got the job done. <laughs> but I wonder if it's gonna show anything else after this. Do I just skip this? Oh, I guess I can just skip it.
Is there any rewards? Well, well, let's see what's in the end. Check it all the way in the end. Oh, that's a nice achievement. What a world, wonderful world. Oh, okay. So we did have like a bunch of people with us. And then we ended up losing them. Oh, an A. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take the A. You get all the mage skins. You get all the spare skins. Oh, nice. Nice. Strider. New emblems. You can now change aircraft skins in campaign. See? That was the thing that I was I was actually wondering about. Because uh, I was actually asking a question with someone, uh, with a commenter. And he was the one who informed me that basically you don't have access to the skins that you unlock until the campaign mode is over. So that's already like a bummer for me because I really wanted to use the skins that I was using along the way. But you know, like there's, oh, well, like, you know, that's how it is sometimes. Like I, it's a bummer, but you know, what, what can I do? You know, just include change. Okay, that's cool. There we go. See, that was the difficulty I wanted to use at the beginning. <laughs> so just to prove that, yeah, this is, this was like my first time actually like passing the game. Uh, new aircraft available to unlock and tree. Oh, new aircraft. That's interesting. That's interesting. Well, I guess that's pretty much it. All right, guys. So first of all, I just want to say thanks to anyone who was watching there. I actually, I really appreciate it because keep in mind, like I actually made this last place so we could all enjoy it as enjoy the story and just like, you know, like talk about it and like, you know, poke some have some fun here and there. Uh, maybe you guys comment, throw your ideas, your your comments about the story, and you know, just overall, just having a good time. But for now, um, that pretty much wraps up this let's play. And be on the lookout. I'm I do have some more plans coming up ahead. Uh, but for now, I'll just leave it here. And once again, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And I don't usually say it like. I don't intend to say it out loud, but uh, uh, subs like subscribing to me and giving a like would greatly be appreciated. Alright guys, so until then, I will see you guys next time and have a good one.